Hello folks, this is Hara Living. Welcome to On the Hill with Terry. Today I'm going to put the pavers in the ground and I'm trying to beat the summer heat y'all. My fountain hasn't been unveiled yet and I'm still looking at a little green pond water. Today I'm going to take a trip down to Philly to get some water ice, me and my daughter, and then I'm going to come back and finish the pavers. So what you're looking at right now is one of the sides that I've already done. This is the right side that that's, the paper's been put in the ground. And also in front of us is completed. So I need to do the left side, which is not done, and the rear of the pond is not done. But today I'm going to focus on the rear. I've had my koi pond since my son was about 10 years old. And my fish are old fish. A lot of my fish been in my pond for many, many years. But there he is, Mr. Yonel. And there she is. <laughs> Miss Terry. These fish like to eat out of my husband's hand, especially this one, Yanni. <laughs> That's the one my husband likes to call Yanni, the bright yellow one. He's the only one that eats out of his hand. The other ones look like they want to try, but they're a little scared. They'll come over and Yanni comes over. Look at this fish right here, this stone spitter fish I have is clogged and it's been clogged for two years. I've been trying to unclog that fish and I've tried everything that I know I've tried to stick wires in there, I've stuck hangers in there, I've stuck vinegar, lemon juice, um, um, oven cleaner. <laughs> I want to use my fish and I don't want to break it so I can unclog it. So if anybody out there knows how to unclog that fish, please Make a comment down below. Okay. I guess I'm about ready to get this project started. I got my sneakers on. Here we go. Hey, Nanny, what are you doing? Hi, honey. Hey, guys, this is my grandson, Noah. What's up, No No? Nothing much here. I'm out here trying to fix these pavers. I got to get all these papers up and put them in the ground. You see all the grass growing in between the papers? Yeah. I got to fix that. Oh. So, what are you doing here today? Just came over. Because I, I didn't want to go to my other grandma's house. Oh, so you just came over to hang out, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with hanging out with you, man. So right here, Noah, I'm going to take this liner and I'm going to recycle it. I'm not really sure how I want to put it in the ground, but I want to recycle the liner. I don't know why I want to recycle it, because, oh, look, I found a worm. It's a worm, Noah, look. I'm going to keep it and go put it in the corn house. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the corn house. I like to put worms in the garden because the worms help the garden grow. Well, you put them in the garbage In the garbage disposal? No. Oh. No, because they end up like in your backyard. They put 
already. Oh, you mean, oh, you're talking about the compost pile. Yeah, the compost No, nah, I don't put the worms in there. Why not? No, because I like to put them in the dirt where the, where the vegetables are growing. But you put them in the compost pile. I think they get cooked in there because they get it gets too hot. Okay, here I am again. I'm gonna put this liner down. You see this little, little tattered? <laughs> I'm gonna recycle it. <laughs> oh, boy. To the left of me is a cherry tree. We used to have two cherry trees, but we had to take one down so that we can install the shed. Wait, right next to you is actually a cherry tree? I thought it was just a regular tree, I never noticed. No, that's a cherry tree. Ah, uh, okay. I know I should be wearing gloves. That's why I don't do my nails in the summer because I'm always doing stuff like this and my nails get messed up. That's better.
this how I get my exercise, y'all. You know, a lot of gardeners and farmers are healthy people because they're always moving around and using most of their body for a lot of things. And this digging in this dirt is not easy. This is hard work. And the way I'm feeling right now, honey, I could use a little exercise with all this extra. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of people ask me, why don't I put my pavers in the ground with cement and make them more permanent? And it's because my pond liner is under the ground. While I'm putting these pavers down, you'll see my liner. My liner comes all the way underneath these pavers in some places. My fish are floating around waiting patiently for me to feed them. <laughs> hi fishy, say hi to your audience. At the time that I'm doing this work, I hadn't unveiled the fountain yet and my water is still green. Thank goodness it just rained a couple days ago so the dirt wasn't so hard to get out of the ground. It's a little bit soft. I'm trying to be careful not to dig down too far so that I don't hit my liner. My liner's right on the edge here close to the flower pot. This is hard work. I'm just simply packing down the dirt and trying to make the ground level. I'm gonna take out this old liner and put in another one. I don't want this old liner anymore. No more recycling. <laughs> Time for something new. Can you dig it? <laughs> I crack my own self up.
That's my liner right there. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna put my shovel in that liner. You see me here? I'm doing a river dance. I'm going to take a walk around the pond and look at the ground. I'll take a complete walk around. Take some pictures. Walking all the way around the pond. Looking at the pavers that I've already done. The pavers I did on this side. This is my little alligator. I moved him. You'll see later. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are the pavers that I put in the ground already. And there's my cactus. And then this is the other side that I did before. So I'm just going to go around here and show you guys. This is the part that I really need to do. This is going to get done last. And if you look to the right of me real quick, you see there's no rocks there. So now here we go all the way around again, back to where I started. That's the hole. Oh, let me finish. I got a taste for some water ice today. My favorite flavor is lemon, but I like cherry too. But my favorite one is lemon. And we always go to Rita's water ice to get water ice. Today we're going to go somewhere different. And it's hot out here, man, so I can really appreciate the water ice today. Who's going to rock with me while I go get some water ice? I need some uh, cheerleaders. <laughs> to come with me to go get some water ice. I like this new liner better. It looks so much nicer. I'm gonna recycle my rocks though. I had to put this pole down on the side right here to keep the rocks lined up straight. When I'm finished, I'm gonna pull the pole out. Here you go, fishies. You guys waited for food long enough. Here you go. Manger, manger.
I purchased these pavers from Home Depot a couple years ago and I at that time I could get all red this year I couldn't find any red ones they only had gray so I bought some gray ones but they're not here I put them on the other side of the yard man I'm tired I'm gonna take a break I'll see y'all when I get back Yeah, I'm out here, y'all, in Philly. I'm in Philly, y'all. Can't wait to get some water ice. I just wanted to know, let y'all know where I was with my daughter. Hi, guys. I just bought some water ice from D. Yes. Nice to meet you. The flavors are made me come back, y'all. Mango, cherry, lemon, rainbow, strawberry, lemonade, pineapple, pina colada. They got pretzels, cheese pretzels, water, soda, pickles, and chips. Yo, this strawberry lemonade joint is what made me come back, y'all. Nice to meet you, Tay. You're welcome. All right, I see you later. Bye. 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 You're welcome. Hey guys, I'm out here in Philly enjoying this water ice. Y'all gotta come out here and check it out. It's hot as I don't know what, but the water ice is good. I got one for me. Yo. I got one for me and I got one for my mom. And I'm out here rocking with my daughter today. Lex Chi in the house. Yep. She be cooking that grub. <laughs> All right, y'all, see y'all on the other side. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Thanks for hanging in there. You guys was hanging in there. Thank you, all you guys that hung up. Hung out with to long out, hang out with to wang out. <laughs> I enjoyed my water rice, y'all. You see my lemon? My lemon water rice was almost gone by the time I got ready to leave that place. I should have got a large, because I got a small and that wasn't enough. <laughs> I want a bigger water race. <laughs> Don't call me greedy, y'all, because I'm telling that little water race, man, I could have ate two of them. What kind of water race you guys like? She had all different kinds of flavors. It seemed like she even had some exotic ones too. She had uh, chips and all kinds of things. Little home-based business. This is the kind of thing that happens to you when the government makes you stay home. Everybody got a home-based business nowadays. If you don't, you better get one. <laughs> I call that a little side hustle. This is the liner for my pond. You see how much liner I have here? I could cut it, but I never cut it though. <laughs> I should cut it, but I won't. I don't know why I won't cut it, but I just, I'm just gonna bury it for now. That liner is really huge. My pond is a nine by nine. Look at my feet, y'all. I call this my river dance. 
Yeah, none of y'all can't get it like this. Go ahead, let me see my competition. <laughs> Show me what you got. <laughs> That's my river dance, y'all. <laughs> hey, you gotta have some fun in life. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. <laughs> I prefer the latter. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be clever if one of those fish threw that bag on rock back? just want to give a little shout out to Dee. Thank you Dee for letting me come out and enjoy your water ice and you guys go out there and make sure y'all check her out. And if you guys can't donate, pray. Okay? And give a little prayer for Dee and if you guys can donate to her cause, donate.
I'd like to share a quote with you from The Magic Path of Intuition, Florence Scovelshin. How to Wind Yourself Up Financially Gratitude is the law of increase and complaint is the law of decrease. The material attitude towards money is to trust in your salary, your income, and your investments, which can shrink overnight. The spiritual attitude is to trust in God for your supply, to keep your possessions, and always to realize they are God and manifestation. If one door closes, immediately another door opens. Money is the symbol of freedom and is part of the divine plan. There is an invisible supply for you to draw upon. It is the bank of imagination. In de demonstrating prosperity or blessings, first speak your word, affirm the statement, God is my supply, and big happy financial surprises now come to me. Thank you, Florence Scovelshin. Now I'm almost finished this job. I just have a little bit more to do. Just a little bit more evening this thing out. And then I'll be done. So it's flatten down the dirt a little bit. So I can level the ground. Bang, bang, bang. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Dealing with this big piece of liner is a pain in the neck sometimes, especially when the wind is blowing. Almost time for me to go in the house and get a shower. Finish this up real quick. I'm going to go in the house, get a shower, and start cooking dinner. I might make some lasagna. Maybe I'll make some lasagna with the squash that I grew. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll make some lasagna. You guys want to see me make some lasagna? <laughs> ah, I'm going to make some lasagna. Yeah. Lasagna with squash, no meat. Maybe some eggs and some cheese. Eggs and cheese, yes. Meat, no. Okay. Decision, decision, decision. Come on, Terry, let's wrap this up.
Well, folks, the job is completed. This is all I have. Thank you for watching. And remember, folks, this is how we're living. Bye-bye.